Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes and we are studying about stereochemistry. In our last lecture, we have studied about homomers, enantiomers, diastereomers, chirality, optical activity and we have also seen about the topicity. We have seen about the homotopic and diastereotopic phases and the ligands. Okay. Now we have to study the questions. We have seen the various questions based on the topicity. Okay. Now we have to see the questions that has been asked about we have to find out whether some compound is optically active or not, whether they are enantiomers or they are homomers or they are diastereomers or whether the compound is chiral or not chiral. Okay. So for this you should see some questions because when you do the questions then you can easily understand the concept. Okay. So here I have taken some questions. See here this question is from CSIR net June 2015's question paper. Here we have given two structures okay, and we have to identify whether they are enantiomers, diastereomers, homomers or constitutional isomers. Okay. So firstly look at the two molecules. These are the structure of alenes. I have not made the video about the alenes but soon I will make a video on the alenes. Okay. Here you should understand that alenes with the even number of double bonds are generally optically active when the two groups attached at the same time are different okay when these two groups are different then they are optically active okay it means these should be enantiomers but just look at them if there is a excess of symmetry then they cannot be enantiomers okay so what we have to do here firstly we have to see either there is an excess of symmetry or not okay so when i am rotating this molecule why 180 degree okay i am rotating this way 180 degree then see what is happening here by the 180 degree rotation what will happen these groups will come here and this group will go here okay and when we are rotating by 180 degree what will happen the groups that are below the plane will go above the plane right and the group that is above the plane will go below the plane okay so what we are getting now these two structures this chlorine will now go above the plane okay and this will go now below the plane right and this group will now come here okay so it will move in this manner this is the ME and this OH group that was here below the plane will be now above the plane. Okay. Now you can match the two structures. These two structures are identical. Okay. We can impose this structure upon this structure. Both are identical. It means these are homomers. Right. These are not enantiomers. This compound is not optically active. This is optically inactive. Right. Okay, now look at this question from December 2015's question paper. Here we have to identify the two enantiomeric pairs. Okay, it means out of these four molecules, which two one are enantiomers. Okay, for this what you have to do? Firstly, you have to convert them to the Fisher projection. Okay, you cannot understand here. So, you have to convert it to the Fisher projection and I have in the my first lecture, I have told you how to convert the structures. Okay, so you can see that video. For this what you have to do? Firstly, you have to convert this. So, you have to do in this manner, okay. This is y and this you can see inverted y. So, you have to convert this inverted y into the right y, okay. So, for this, this group will go here, this group will go here and this will go here, okay. So, when we are converting this first structure here, when we are converting it, what we are getting? this bromine will come here right and here will be hydrogen and here will be CS3 in this manner right and this Y will remain as it is. Here this is bromine, hydrogen and CS3 okay right. Now you can write it in the Fisher projection. So what you have to do just this group will come here and this group will do down okay and then you have to write them in the same manner in this manner right so this is its fisher projection okay and when we are doing the same for the second molecule see the second molecule what you have to do here so when we are putting it same you have to do here just firstly you have to write down in this manner right now we are seeing
सो हाइड्रोजन विल कम हेयर ब्रोमीन विल कम हेयर ओके एंड सी एस थ्री विल गो हेयर राइट एंड हेयर द थिंग्स विल रिमेन एज इट इज ओके नाउ यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू द फिशर प्रोजेक्शन सो हेयर दिस हाइड्रोजन इज हेयर सो हाइड्रोजन विल कम हेयर दिस विल बी ब्रोमीन सी एच थ्री हेयर दिस हाइड्रोजन एंड this bromine and this cs3 okay now you can see here that cs3 is here so we have to put it here so that we can understand so what we are doing we are fixing this molecule from this position right and we are rotating these all three molecules all three atoms okay in this manner we have to rotate all the three atoms by fixing this bond right either clockwise or anti clockwise so i am rotating in this manner so what we are getting this cs3 will go in this manner above okay and this hydrogen will come here and this will be the bromine okay now you can understand the concept okay so see here now you can match both the structures see here the both the structures are same because there is the cs3 and cs3 if you are changing their position it if you are rotating it by 180 degree then this group will go here this will go here this will come here and this will go here okay so we are getting the same structure like this okay so these two structures 1 and 2 are identical it means these are homomers okay now we have to see the third and the fourth structure okay now look at the third structure we have to do the same thing we have to invert it in this manner so what we are getting now here will be hydrogen this will be bromine and this will be ch3 right and now this is bromine this is hydrogen and this is ch3 okay now you have to convert it to the fischer projection so the ch3 will go here and this ch3 will go down here this is bromine hydrogen and here hydrogen and bromine right now see the fourth structure you have to do the same thing you have to invert this by so what we are getting now this bromine will come here hydrogen will go here and this will be cs3 okay and then here is the bromine this group will remain as it is okay and now we have to convert it to the fischer projection so this hydrogen will go above this cs3 will go down okay and this is the bromine this is the cs3 okay here bromine and hydrogen now we have to do the same thing we have to put this methyl group here okay so for this what you have to do just you have to fix this bond okay just you have to fix this bond and rotate these three groups clockwise or anti clockwise so that you can get this cs3 at this position so this will go here this will go here and this will go here okay so what we are getting now here is cs3 this is hydrogen this is bromine okay and this is bromine this is hydrogen and this is cs3 okay now you can match these two structures these two structures are not same these are mirror images of each other okay if you are rotating it by 180 degree then also this will remain as it is okay so these two structures are not identical these are enantiomers so this is the right answer that the third and the fourth molecules are enantiomeric pairs it means this one and this one are the right answer okay okay now see this question from june 2019 question paper question is quite easy here we have to identify the relationship between the compound a and compound b okay these two molecules we have given and we have to identify whether these are homomers or enantiomers or diastereomers or they are conformers okay so these are not conformers right we have to just find out the possibility between these two the relationship between this hydrogen and this cs3 group the whole structures are identical but you can see here this is at the equatorial position now and here it is at the axial position okay 
so the two groups are here cis and transposition okay here also right so these two structures are diastereomers okay these are neither these are not mirror images of each other okay and if you are rotating this if you are rotating then you cannot find out the same structures so these are also not homomers these are diastereomers whenever you have given the two groups in this uh, this type of cis and transposition okay so then they are diastereomers right now see this question from december 2018's question paper here we have to identify that out of these four molecules which is optically active molecule okay and what is the condition for optical activity i have told you that there are two conditions in the molecule there should be no plane of symmetry and no center of symmetry right so if there is a plane of symmetry or a center of symmetry then the molecule will be optically inactive right so see in this molecule there is a plane of symmetry we can reflect this molecule in this manner right the two groups will reflect each other so there is a plane of symmetry here so this molecule is optically inactive now see here here also there is a plane of symmetry in this molecule so this is also optically inactive right similarly here is a plane of symmetry so this molecule is also optically inactive but in this molecule there is no plane of symmetry neither there is a center of symmetry see this molecule this group is below the plane and this is above the plane and this molecule is asymmetrical right so there is no plane of symmetry it means this molecule is optically active okay so this option number 4 is the right answer okay now see this question from iit jam 2020s question paper here we have to find out the a chiral stereo isomers okay we have to identify a chiral isomers okay it means that are optically inactive it means if there is a plane of symmetry or a center of symmetry or there is symmetry in the molecule then they will be a chiral right and this option a see here this is the alene system two double bonds are present here right cumulative two double bonds are present here and these are two methyl groups if you look at them these are in this manner these are two methyl groups and here will be this hydrogen and this will be one hydrogen right so we know that these two bonds are perpendicular to each other i have to make a video on the alenes so that you can understand this concept so whenever there are even number of double bonds present and these are differently substituted it means these two groups are uh, if different these two groups are if different and there are even number of double bonds then this molecule will be chiral it means it will be optically active okay so this is optically active molecule now see here this is biphenyl system and i will also told you about this biphenyl system in a very detailed manner but here you should understand that these two rings are perpendicular to each other so and the bulky groups are present at this position ortho position okay so these rings cannot rotate it means there is hindered rotation about this single bond okay so this molecule is also optically active it will exist in two enantiomeric form right now see this c option here is a plane of symmetry in this molecule bisecting this oh group okay we can reflect from here this molecule so there is a plane of symmetry right so this molecule is a chiral right so this option is correct now see here here is also a plane of symmetry present in this molecule like this right there is a plane of symmetry so this molecule is also a chiral so option number c and d are the right answer okay now see this question we have to identify whether the two molecules are homomers or enantiomers or diastereomers okay for this what you have to do just you have to rotate this molecule okay if you are rotating this molecule about this axis what will happen this molecule will rotate by 180 degree okay and when we are rotating what will happen by 180 degree rotation see here this o will come here right this ring will flip here okay and this will go over here right and the methyl group that was below the plane will come above the plane okay and this will go below the plane we are getting this structure and both the structures are same so the two molecules are homomers it means these are 
identical molecules right now see this question from december 2011 and here we have to find out the optically active compound we have given these three compounds a b and c okay and we have to identify firstly look at this here the nitrogen is the central atom okay and four different groups phenyl group methyl group and this group ch2 ph group and here is this another group four different groups are attached to it it means it is a chiral center right so whenever there is a chiral center it means the molecule is optically active so this one is optically active right answer okay now look at this also here this sulfur is attached to four groups how you can understand this is the sulfur one is the phenyl group another one is this group right one is the oxygen and the last one is this lone pair of electron in this manner right so this is also chiral center right so this option is also right answer now look at this here in this molecule you should understand that this oh group is below the plane okay and here will be a hydrogen above the plane right similarly this is above the plane so there should be a hydrogen in this manner okay so we, we can suppose this is the r group and this is the r group okay both groups are same groups so when we are writing it we can write in this manner this is the r group okay so which we have to attach this oh group and this hydrogen right similarly you can do here this will be the hydrogen and oh and r group okay and when we are seeing them what will happen this will come in this manner and we can invert it so this r will go above this will be oh and this will be h okay now you can see here there is a plane of symmetry in this molecule this is the plane of symmetry okay so in this molecule there is a plane of symmetry so this is optically inactive right so the answer for this question is option number a and option number c right so these are some problems that i have described you about the homomers and angiomers and optically active compounds there are some more problems that we will discuss in some next videos because there are some more topics we have to understand that are r and s nomenclature about the alenes biphenyls and several other systems so you should understand firstly that things then we will do some more questions okay so firstly in the next video we will understand about the r and s nomenclature okay if you like this video please share it okay thank you